Vandy 0, A&M 15. A&M just continues to put it on people in the SEC. And, and the offense is just something else. Braden Montgomery has really been terrific. And the rest of this A&M lineup continues to perform. But really, for me, it's the pitching staff. And holding Vandy to 0 was a big start last night. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that a complete game 10K shutout is the footnote of a game. But again, <laughs> Ryan Prager just continued to do Ryan Prager things. He pounds the zone at just an unbelievable rate. His pitch count is super, super low. And again, the thing that really impressed me about Texas A&M is I know the home runs are going to steal all the headlines, but just the unselfish hitting. There were a ton of guys that had two strike counts with runner on third less than two outs, and they choked up and put the ball in play to get a run home. They had a ton of backside strong hits. Ted Burton had a backside home run. Jace Lavalette had the backside home run. Uh, Braden Montgomery, again, his two kind of went to the left of the batter's eye. But again, I think that that's what's really impressed me the most about Texas A&M is the unselfishness in a 10 nothing game to choke up, put the ball in play. The ability to kind of take extra bases on doubles, I think really kind of stood out to me as well. Take extra bases on triples. And again, it almost kind of felt like they played like Vandy the Vandy that we've kind of come to expect where they do all the little things, right? Take the extra bases. And again, that's what really impressed me the most. And again, I drove home for about an hour after college station last night. I couldn't find a single guy that had a bad game. They had no errors. Every guy had a hit eight of nine had multi hits eight of nine scored runs. Uh, the only pitcher was a complete game shutout. It was just an a plus effort against a really, really talented Vandy team.